M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Bit of a beginner video here on the G90. And I've had this for a long time, but I haven't used it for ages. So let's just start from the basics. Now it's a very solid, rugged device. You know, it's 20 watt HF radio, and it really is solid. You're not gonna worry too much about dropping this device. And it does have a nice color screen. And we are running the latest firmware. The display firmware is 1.89. The uh, the main unit firmware is 1.7903, and if you're curious about your firmware, all you do is just hold down the function, click all the way to the right with the VM button here at the bottom, and the green writing appears, and then you'll see your firmware. So I've got 1.79, that's the main unit, and then at the bottom here, we've got... 1.80, which is a couple of CIV changes. And all I had to do was connect the cable that you get in the box with this kind of end to it, uh, to this, this plug here and run the Terraform sort of software. And it, it wasn't hard, I've made a video on that, so that will help you. Uh, I'll put that in the description. So back to normal, just press the on off button and let's just start from the basics. So turn it off. Okay, and on the back, I'll just show you that it's nice and easy. Just power cable here. Power cable there. Sorry, what am I on about? Power cable here. DC in, 12 volts, 13.8. ACC out, IQ out, COM out, which is the firmware one. Key for your, you know, for CW, ETC, and then PL259, SO239. Antenna, nice and easy. You've got a couple of jacks here for... Uh, audio out and if you want Bluetooth just get yourself one of these Bluetooth and I'll test it later Bluetooth senders and you'll be able to send it uh, just for about eight pound to any Bluetooth device that you've got let's turn this thing back on we've got a wire connected it's not the best wire but it should get us some signals hopefully so tune in turn it on hold down a couple of seconds Antennas on, volume, it will be muted, but when you turn, you'll hear, you can press the volume and it will mute. You've got on the top, you've got the mode button, look, mode and band button. So if we go through the modes, we're on LSB here at the moment, AM. NFM, narrow FM, CW receive, CW, uh, USB digital, USB, LSB digital, LSB. So then we'll go through the bands, just up or down, band, it says band here on top. 10 megs, 14 megs, 18 megs, 21 megs, 25, 28. Top band, they call it, 80 meters. I don't see six meters, so I would say it hasn't got six meters. Then you've got the VFO memory. So there's a memory channel. How do, you, how do you add a memory channel? So when you're in VFO mode, and there is A and B band as well, which is here. You've got A, it says A there, and B. A, we'll push in here, look. B, A, B. And we're in VFO mode, A band at the moment. And to save, you just hold down, let's choose a different frequency and you just hold down the MW button here. Actually, you just press it briefly, you don't hold it down. It starts to flash. If it's flashing with a number, but there isn't an E, then there's that, that's been used. So you just move one until you see an E. Once you see the E, that's channel number two. So when we go back into memory mode, VFO memory here, channel one, and then go cross one, two. There you go, very handy if you set in some of your favorite frequencies. Back to VFO mode, you've got AGC button here. You can see it changing the type of AGC is there at the top. Let me get you down a bit lower. Push that a bit more. And you've got your noise blanker, noise blanker width, and you turn the 
the large knob as you're scrolling through and that will give you selections. You're back to the, so let's call it the filter screen. To change these filters, press the this button here, should we call it a function button? And uh, you can, when you press it once, you can do that. Oh yeah, the volume is a mute as well. Push the volume for mute. Actually, it doesn't say mute, it says headphones. Headphone jack on the left. So if we press, press this one again, see it move, the bandwidth, press it again. I've noticed if you press F, it does change the bandwidth item. And look, you've got compression here. I'm not really sure how to change that. And, well, you saw a noise blanker, but it, did, it does change. You don't get the noise blanker window. If I push that, then go noise blanker, you get the noise blanker window. Keep pressing to go back to default. If you press um, function, look. So I'm not really sure what that does. I've noticed that when I press function, I turn this. It's changing one megahertz. Now my memory is that there's a special function menu where you can change what that does. If I hold down F, I'm not going to do the whole function menu now, but look, you've got frequency change plus or minus, preamp attenuator split, 80%, what's that? And Well, there's more settings as you go through. And there's more bands available other than hand bands. Did you see that? So let's go to previous. Hand band. Can we change that? Let's go full band and, and then back out. Turn this. So that's one to learn. Function menu. Now the, tu the tuner is just here. Show you the tuning. There we are. 20 watts, so power, 20 watt and down. Turn the VFO. Key to do with CW. You've got a lock button there as well. You've got functions here. Let's just go down through function in the power button, this button here, you get the mic gain, input mic back to the default, key, you get CW volume, CW tone, and the, the lock button becomes averaging, I think that's to do with the scope, isn't it? So it's quite a basic radio to use, but like any radio, there's a, a learning curve. You're basically selecting bands, come out of function, tuning with the large VFO, selecting modes, you've got your filters, noise blanker comp, compression, AGC VFO memory, saving memories, turn it on and off. And that's it. The firmware can be a bit daunting if you've never done it before. But don't worry, you can't really brick this radio. Uh, it's a very, you know, it's a really nice size, this radio. I, I just, I, I think it's a nice, it's a very solid unit, this one. That's what I think, so if I can get the antenna off for a minute. Quite light, easy to store. It's not a Zygu G90, it's completely different. I'll just grab my G90 and I'll... It's the similarities, but it's not the, you know, it's, the G90 is a carry type device. You carry it around almost like a big handheld. Sorry, not the G90, the X6100. It's a much bigger screen. The experience is different, and, and I use it mainly for receive, to be honest. It has got a built in tuner. Should come on now with a bit of luck. SNR. 
we go down. If you've used one, you'll be familiar with, you know, with how this one works. It's a Linux system. It takes a while to boot up. This one, go down. We've got an antenna connection on there. We've got an adapter. We've got an adapter here. Let me just find one. There you go. It's not as good a speaker. One well, of the external speakers on both of these sounds great, but you can see the conditions today are not great. Normally I do better than that. Push the button to get larger increments of tuning. Goes across, see. So we'll end there, as you can see. They're not the same radio, it's a much bigger thing, but the you know, the X6100 is easy to move around. G90 is a bit more work, it's like a big CB actually. Uh, but very solid construction. Bye for now, 73. Please remember to like and subscribe. Catch you on air, all the best.